sort of rally or get together, he has far less people showing up at his rallies. Far less. I mean, it pales in comparison to that which what we see at the Trump rallies. Hey, Shakaris, how you doing? Welcome. What's going on? Good. Uh, so, so it, it just it absolutely astounds me that we have these polls that are, you know, showing Trump and Biden next to each other, and Biden is somehow fourteen or fifteen points or fifteen percent ahead of Trump. I, it, that makes absolutely no, no sense to me. No way. And plus, the yeah, other thing is, is, with all the reports, recent reports of of a uh, uh, people. Uh, you know, getting, uh, you know, with mail ballots being trashed, thrown to the side of the road. Uh, you know, I mean, it, it just makes absolutely no sense that we're, we're with that we're hearing these uh, these reports about Trump being behind uh, when we clearly see a strong examples of people, you know, bigger crowds showing up at Trump's rallies. Uh, I, I don't know. Any, any any thoughts on that, guys? Go ahead. Welcome to the room. <laughs> Five people, man. Five. <laughs> Five. I mean, what, what do you say to that? You know. I mean, I kind of want to call up some people. Say, man, just go, just, just, just go and stand around, man. Get some VC or something. <laughs> Get the camera. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it looks, you know, and. Uh, <laughs> I mean, a, a lot of people are not even that big, much of a fan of uh, of uh, Kamala Harris. So, yeah, that's the thing. Like, cause she's she's you know career politician and so you know exactly. Yeah, we, well, we so know that, how she got to the top. So, well, that, and, and that, <laughs> well, that she got to the top right. because she was on top. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> probably not far from the truth, but the point is, is that they're all career politicians. If you if you side with them, you're going to get the same old same old. You're not going to get real change. You're not going to get real uh, real economy, real real jobs, real anything for that matter. Because they fake is the three dollar bills they used to say. And that's all you're going to get is fake, man. You're not going to get anything real from them. Yeah. You know yeah. that's so. If you want now, if you want the same old same old, because there's a lot of people that do. A lot of people are like, oh man, I just want to go along to get along. Vote for Biden. Yeah. That, that's who you vote for. But I don't want the same old, same old. I don't want to keep going down the communist railroad. I, mm -hmm. I want to go back this way where the founding fathers is over at. Right, right, go right. this direction. Uh -huh. you know? and, and, and that's uh, the thing that Bi Biden is not, he's not that uh, far left, actually. But I think he's just being, uh, he's, he's, totally he's a puppet handled. right now. He's totally yeah. handled, man. He is totally, he is totally handled. I don't think there's any oh, doubt. Yeah. You know, when they saying that like, he's not strong enough, I see it, man. I oh, see yeah, it. Yeah, dude. Y'all think y'all really think Biden is far left? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, we no. said the opposite. Camilla, Camilla's, no. Camilla is, but I don't think Biden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ka Ka Kamala, yeah. Kamala, Kamala, she's a fit in this. Karma, Karma Sutra Harris. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't say she's her far left. I wouldn't say she's her far left either. She is a feminist, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I think she's a puppet too. Actually, I don't think I don't think she has any thoughts of her own. To be honest with you, you know. So let me ask. I, you let, let me ask. You you. Somebody, somebody got all the strings, anyways. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. Somebody's def somebody's definitely handling this rodeo behind the scenes, and we may not ever find out who that is. I mean, it could, could it be Rothschild, Rockefeller, Soros, the Koch brothers, even. I mean, who knows? Somebody's. Somebody's definitely pulling the strings on this thing, man. Because well, I mean, if I if I was in charge, if I was in charge of the DNC, if I was in charge of the, DNC, I wouldn't have neither one of them two clowns up there. You want to say? Psycho Pete just wanted to ask a question. Go ahead. Oh yeah, go ahead, Psycho. Uh, well, I, um, yeah, I had a question I wanted to ask, but um, there's people on both sides pulling the strings for, for the record. But um, um, the question I had to ask was. Um, are, are you guys like anti vaxxers or anything? Like, what's y'all opinion on the COVID thing? Do y'all think, are y'all these people that think it's fake? Or do y'all think it's real? Or, vaccines, you... okay, there's there's a trick to vaccines, okay? And I've no, not about... vaccines, not vaccines. I'm talking about COVID, the virus itself, you know, the vax, not the vaccine. Well, the virus, we've already proven the virus. I mean, you've got a French, you've got a French Nobel laureate out there that's already proven COVID's fake as a $3 bill. They already proved it. It was totally created in a lab. So, so you think Trump is faking it? 
Oh, no, yeah, was definitely no, <laughs> no, what I know, let me tell you, let me tell you, you want to know why yeah, Trump got such a speedy debate. recovery? You want to know why Trump got such a speedy recovery? I'll tell you why. Because he took that, he took that hydrococaline. Remember, hydroxycocaline. Remember? Just, wait, 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 Vaughn, you just, you're confusing me now. You just said it's fake as a $3 bill, and then you said he's recovering from it. How can yeah, you yeah, Vaughn, are you saying that the numbers are fake, or are you talking about there is no COVID uh, at all? Well, see, the actual okay, let me, okay, let me back the train up then and explain yeah. What, yeah. what's going on. Okay. Um, I, well, I got to back the train way up. Okay. Let me, let me start from the beginning. Because if I start from the beginning, you'll get this, okay? What was happening a few years back? What was happening is, is that there was a massive million-man march for democracy in China. And it was getting ready to come on the scene just any second. I mean, literally at the door. Okay, China got, Chinese government got wind of it. And they said, we're going to have millions of people marching in the street for democracy. And 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 Xi Jinping ain't going to be able to handle it. He's not going to be able to handle that. So what do we do? What do we do? So they decided to come out with a bug. Now, now the thing of it is, when they first come out with a bug, the bug was created in a lab. When they first come out with the bug, I don't believe that the bug was meant to be deadly. What? Pardon me. What I think it was meant to do is just make everybody really bad sick, so that they wouldn't have this this million man march for democracy in China. Okay. Mm. All right, and and they put so they put it out there, and it makes everybody uh, sick as a dog, and they all go back home, and yada yada yada. All right, the problem is, is that the daggone thing got away from them. All right, that's mm. the problem. And once it got out there into the real world, what happened? It mutated. It adapted, and it started it started growing and changing. And then is when it became a killer. Then is when it became uh, the ability uh, to actually do harm. But I, but I believe that when it was initially created in the lab, I don't believe it was intentionally meant to kill. But when it got out there in the real world, see, it, it mutated, it adapted, it changed, and it got to be a killer. Now, here's the thing. The thing is, is that this hydroxycocaline, or however you pronounce it, because I never have a camera pronounce the stupid thing right. Uh, but, 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 but Trump told everybody well in advance, Say, get this hydroxycocaline and take some of that stuff. It's kind of like, you know how like if you, you take Pepto-Bismol and it coats your stomach so it just so that you don't get sick when you I, eat? I, I know what it is. Yeah. Same thing. Same thing here. You take the hydroxycocaline and it helps to prevent he, getting sick. But it, didn't, but it didn't prevent Donald Trump from catching it, though. Well, so it, that didn't, was actually true, though. it didn't prevent him from getting it, no. But did it prevent him from getting bad, sick, and dying? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the key. There's no proof of that. There's no proof of that. Well, I think there's that, but I don't think the media will tell you. Keep it up. I don't think the media will tell you. Now, did you know there's a movie from 2003 that really discussed the hydrococaline? And, and uh, fighting a see hydro we know hydrococaline is a real deal because we use it to fight malaria and it's worked on malaria for years okay so we know it works we know it's a good thing we know it works we don't know we just ain't tried it on covid we don't know if it works on covid man they tried it on covid but the, the, but the, the was so terrible that trump said yo i'm just gonna play sick <laughs> so i ain't gotta do this well, we, but, but that would be why would he do that because i think i think this whole covid thing actually hurt him I think he, I think he, I think he lost support oh, COVID, after yeah, this yeah, whole COVID. And I'm not yeah, talking yeah. about the virus. I'm not talking about the virus itself. I'm talking about him actually catching it because he didn't, he want, COVID, no, he no. didn't want to go in that COVID was, a, was wasn't a big deal. You know, y'all yeah. y'all need to open up these states. You know, he he literally was just clowning Biden days before at the debate about him wearing a mask and, and how he overplaying the whole COVID thing. He, he pushed it off. That all this was a Democratic hoax. And everything else, this, this all this all turned around full circle and smacking them in the face right before. Don't the need to, check it out. Trump don't need to do nothing but shut up right now. <laughs> and that's all he needs to do. If you look well, at what he's doing and what he has done, it's a shoe it. You know what I'm saying? The only thing that met, if you ask anyone, do you like Trump? They'll say no. Why not? He said, he stated if he was over here talking about. That's all they ever say about. Him. They don't say nothing about anything he's ever done. Yeah, I, I understand all that. Like the diehard trumpets are going to vote for him regardless. Like they, their opinions aren't going to change. I'm not talking about them though. I'm talking about the people, the swing voters that right. actually got Trump into office. The the uh, the, moderate, the like the moderate Democrats that had jumped shit 
and, right. and decided to jump on board Trump, the Trump train last election and everything else. They're, they they kind of falling off board and, and um, they going to probably lean more towards Biden because Biden's actually a conservative. Uh, that's why I, I had to, that's why I had to ask the question. Like, do y'all really think Biden's far left? Because he's totally not far left. He's a moderate. He's, 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 yeah, he's a moderate. I, I wouldn't call him moderate, but I wouldn't call him far left. Well, he's either. totally he's moderate. Somewhere in the middle. Sorry, somewhere in the middle of there. <laughs> but he's not. He's not moderate or far left. He's somewhere in the middle of those two. Yeah, but I think the first time, like I actually in the beginning of the year, I thought Trump was going to win. I thought Trump was going to win to re, um, get another four years. But now I'm not too sure because again, this this him catching COVID actually really did hurt his his uh his his support. Um, so I don't see why he would even want to fake that. Like that's I, I think I think he'll be all right. Him faking that would actually right. hurts him. I, think uh, I don't. I highly doubt that. I highly doubt that. We well, see way too much. There's way too much evidence of uh, uh of of more and more uh, the polls changing, showing uh, more, and more and more support, especially more and more black support community. Every day, what, po what polls? Every what day. polls? Uh, uh, well, the Gallup poll uh, they just came out last week. Uh, reported uh, uh, more more uh, more support from the black community. Uh, well, no, 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 no. Wait, can we get? Yeah. Let me yeah, know. Gallup poll, yeah. I don't, I don't have that information in front of me, but I know uh, Larry Larry Elder talked about it. Uh, well, yeah, Larry Elder he's going to have he's going to have more support from the black community this election than he had last election. But even some of the black people that was going in supporting him is starting to fall back now because it, again, it, um, this again the whole COVID thing actually did oh, hurt. Come on. Now. Okay. You you are you gonna sit there and tell me that because this dude caught contract the COVID, black people don't want to vote for him now? Come on, man. You have yeah. The set you have well the, the people that was already the, 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 the diehards. I'm not talking about the diehards like yourself. You ain't changing your mind regardless. That's so like, no, I don't. I don't do nothing. I'm, to change your mind. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about the diehard Trump fans. I'm talking about. I'm not talking about them either. I'm talking about. I'm talking about the people that that was leaning towards. Well, maybe I sh maybe I shouldn't vote Democrat. Maybe I should think about voting for Trump. Yeah, yeah, th yeah. That hurt those people. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Well, I, I, don't, I, don't I don't buy that. I don't buy that. I speak to people all the time. I don't, I don't buy that. He, he, he's okay. gonna, he's, you're sitting here telling us that black people are saying, "Yeah, I was about to vote for him, but that dude caught COVID 19." Well, and yeah. uh, so you know, I don't want no president going around infecting everybody. No, that's not. No, no, that's it, it has nothing to do with whether or not he's going to go affecting everybody. Now you, you, you miss yeah, it. but that's what it sounds like, though. It sounds like somebody but saying not what I, no. And, and first I, of all, he just recently they just uh, yeah. he just did another test, I think, uh, recently, and he, he, he tested uh, negative. Right. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not talking about whether or not he still has it. I'm just talking about the fact that he caught it because again, he's the one who was sitting up here promoting all this Alice Jones stuff that this stuff is fake, that this stuff isn't real, this stuff. Is, he, he literally, like I said, he literally was telling all the states they need to open back up, and then he turns around and he catches it after. The WHO after was suggesting that too, actually. Yeah, everybody, everybody, it, everybody took that mask off and threw it yeah. on the floor, man. Yeah, I the mean, WHO, the, the W Trump rallies, not wearing masks, and how we, uh, um, what's called, um. Herman Cain dying and everything else at a Trump mm -hmm. rally. Uh, come on, come on, no, not at a Trump rally, but dying from catching COVID at a Trump rally. Right. And so, but but that's not a that's not a reasonable argument though, uh, because again, you have thousands of hundreds of people showing up at his rallies. Okay, and you don't hear about hundreds of cases of people coming down with COVID right. due to uh, due to those rallies. It was about seven Republicans that caught it out in Jersey. So, and but you're talking about you're talking about a small percentage of Trump at a Trump event. But you're talking about a small percentage of people that that contracted it, compared to those hundreds and thousands of people that show up at a rally. Right. But the person. Uh, okay. But so the you haven't heard of any cases person, from people. But the, but the person who did it was was the main person saying it, this thing is it, he was downplayed. It. I mean, he literally was telling people come to the uh, thing. Hold on, okay. Okay. Come to the thing without masks. He was telling. He was encouraging. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, that's, that's a, if you don't think that's irresponsible for the president and the head, the head of this country, when during a pandemic, to tell people you don't need to wear masks and all this other stuff. So and, much and, and yeah. the line. That's a yeah. Yeah. Go, go ahead, Arthur. Uh, I, I would love to respond to that, but go ahead, Arthur. What you want all to say? Right. First, let me just say he's a Gemini. It's nothing but irresponsibility. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, but you know what I'm saying, to scale back to whether or not the COVID virus is real or not, right? This is what they are doing. They are, like, when you are sick and you go to the doctor, 
they are saying whatever it is that you have that it is COVID, it's Corona. It's COVID. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you look yeah. at it and 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 if you die, you know what I'm saying, in their hands, they will they they will um announce your reason for death as your cause of death COVID. as COVID nineteen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even though it was a head cold, they're gonna say COVID. Right, if they're gonna say COVID nineteen. Proof of this is that if you look at last year, I don't know what state you live in. It's better to do it state by state. It's I live in complicated. Jersey. But like, if you, wherever you, wherever state you live in, look at the deaths up from last year. How many deaths happened last year? All the causes of death. Take out all the, uh, all the violent deaths, take them out. Look at the natural causes of death and, and, and add those up, right? And then go to this year, all the deaths from this year so far, Add those up. Take out all the violent ones and add the um the the so um. You think all this is real? So you think all this is real? All COVID. They got they all COVID. You know what I'm saying? But like last year, there was people dying from the flu, from heart disease, uh, stroke. Not that many people, people died. You know what I'm saying? Like not any, that many people died from the flu. Uh, uh, um, pneumonia. I'm yeah. I'm, I'm I'm from I'm, I live in Georgia. You know what I'm saying? So I looked up Georgia, and that's what I saw. That's what I saw. You know what I'm saying? I know it's yeah. stuff. I actually looked it up. You know what I'm saying? Not that, not that many people die from the flu, but let me let me ask you a question. Um, <laughs> like I looked, I just you talking, but I looked it up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, people people might die from the, like people die from the flu if they have other complications like like AIDS or or COVID and everything else. Things that mess around, things that mess around, they they mess around with their immune. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Hold on one, one, one at a time. Let, let uh, Psycho uh, speak. Uh, yeah. I think somebody needs to mute their mic. Things that okay. things that mess around with their immune system and everything else, that's when they die from they, they die from complications of other things when they get like the flu or whatever. But most people do not die from the flu. Most people get over the flu after an X amount of time by not, you know, naturally. Uh, but um, I was going to ask you. Know, I was gonna, uh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Let, let Psycho uh, finish. Hold on. Go ahead. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Now, I was going to ask, uh, um, I, I, I know I heard Veku mention these people before. He said he supported them. I was just curious to know about uh, Donald Trump's comments about the Proud Boys. What's your opinion about that? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I want to address uh, one thing you said about the... Uh, about the COVID? There was, one, there was one thing you said about COVID. Uh, about uh, Oh, about him playing it down. Uh, again, I, I think this is another example of how people on the left uh, are consistently... I'm not a leftist. I'm not, yeah, I'm yeah, that's what they all say. But you, you are not, you're coming to these discussions, utilizing. Hold on a second. Not, Let me. I'm I got two things. Biden. Wait, wait. Time uh, out. I'm not voting. I didn't for say. Biden. I didn't accuse you of, of, of. I didn't accuse you of, of okay. voting for Biden. But I do want to say one, two things. Number one, one of the things I often encounter awesome. when I have discussions with people like you is that whenever we make any type of attempt to dismantle any type of argument that you come against the right, okay, that we often hear something like this: "I'm not a leftist." I'm not on the right either. I'm in the central, so on and so forth. I can't tell you how many times I hear people like uh, that. But yet, I mean, it's the well, same people. I'm not going for Biden. Yeah. I know, but it's, it's, but it's the same. Not for Biden. Not you know, he left is not voting for Biden. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but it's the same. Not it's the same. Not voting for Biden. See, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't accuse you. I didn't accuse you mm -hmm. of voting right for now, Biden. Right now, you're doing okay. hand hominem attacks. You're not. You're not addressing what I'm saying. Okay, no, no, I'm, I'm going to address that. I just want to put that out there. You're trying. Okay, okay, fine. I'll leave it. I'll leave that alone. Leftist label on me. You're trying to. Okay, okay. I, I'm not trying to put the leftist label. I'm just, I'm just pointing out the facts. It's uh, not the fact is that we have so many people who utilize leftist tactics to argue against the right or against the right position. The right. I'm talking but then, about the right. but then right. when they talk, when it comes to the issue of identity, we hear things like, well, I'm not on the left. I'm not on the right. I'm in the center or I'm a libertarian. Well, so, yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's it. That's kind of irrelevant. Yeah, anyway. I don't even know why I brought that up. Channel, I have just as <laughs> much content on my channel dismantling the left as I do the right. I, I, Psycho, okay. If you choose not okay. to decide, you still but, have made a choice. You get okay. that, right? Let me let me let me talk about the play it down thing. I think the a, a lot of, see the the tactic that we see from the coming from the left a lot is that no matter what Trump says, no matter how he says it, exactly. okay, they will find any way, shape, or form to try to twist it and make it yeah. seem like something, uh, to and use that try, uh, to weaponize it to vilify him. When he said that he plays it down, okay, you have to understand, everybody already knows it by now. Trump is probably not the greatest orator in the world, right? He's not the greatest speaker. I mean, you you take that teleprompter away from him and it's a wrap, okay? He's just, there's no telling what he's going to say, okay? 
Um, I prefer but it that when way. he said play it down, <laughs> one person could say play it down, meaning to not look that he's not discarding that the reality of people are dying from this thing or that it's a real thing, right. but he's just trying to get people from panicking. That's, that's all. That's how point. I interpret it when I when that I heard him the say whole that. Point of it. That, is, exactly. that is okay? what it what it was. So the the, the yeah. same people who are saying, "Oh, play it down, make it." Oh, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. These are the same people who are also saying that um, you know he's a racist because because of what? Because he, you know because uh you know I don't know whatever some, some cool mm-hmm. stuff that's been mm-hmm. the thousands mm-hmm. of times. Mm-hmm. 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 Him refusing to denounce white supremacy on the on on. Oh my God! Let me let me show. Psycho, please tell me you're not falling for that. Psycho, please tell me you're not falling for that. The proud boys. Okay, okay, hold on, Jordan, Jordan, welcome. Tell me hold on, hold on, hold on. Welcome to the room, Jordan. Welcome to the room. You just you just got here. Welcome to the room. What up? So, like, I don't think you actually even know anything, really, anything about the Proud Boys. Um, no, they no recently, them yeah. Do. And here's here's the here's the interesting thing is that a lot of people they they get this they get this narrative and it just gets slapped. It's just these these labels and they just throw them out there without any real actual evidence. Like you could, it's just like, oh, we think that that's, that they that they believe this, so we're gonna pin that on them. Like there's a video here. I don't know if you guys will be able to, if you guys can hear the chairman, this. The chairman of the can you, can you hear this? On behalf of the entire national organization denounce white supremacy. Yes. Yes. We are in no way, shape or form white supremacists. We have a vetting system that just gets those guys out of our hair. We do not have anything to do with white supremacy. We do not have anything to do with the Ku Klux Klan. We denounce those organizations. So that is, he's a Cuban, he's he's a Cuban. And he is exactly. the, he is the head guy right, of black. the Proud Boys. So it's simply ridiculous to continue this you narrative. About? Are you talking hold about? On, are you talking about wait, wait, wait. Are you talking hold about? Hold on, psycho. The chairman. Hold on, psycho. Hold on. I want to hear what the chairman. The chairman of the Proud Boys is black. The chairman of the Proud Boys is black. I can't understand anybody. No, he. Wait, wait. Oh no, he's not born. No, you. Yeah, he is. I just saw him on video. If you are talking about Enrique Tarrio, he is not a black person. Matter of fact, I. No, want, he's not. He's a he's a Cuban. Right, right. No, no, no. Fact, I'm not, I'm not, he's a Cuban. I'll shoot you one better. I'll shoot you one better, Bond. I'll shoot you one better, Bond. I have his arrest record. His real name is Henry Tario. Enrique is Spanish, but Henry, his real name is Henry Tario. He lives out in Florida. And he's been arrested. And when he was arrested, he they, they marked him down as being white. They didn't mark him down as being black. Have he you seen what he looks? Do you know what he looks like? Yeah, I know what he looks like. I'll show you yeah, what he looks he like. He doesn't I'll look, he, he is not a white guy. However, they got I'm they came to that conclusion. That. I'm telling you what I'm telling you what he you know, like, I, 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 when, he, when he got locked up out in Florida. People, psycho. When he got locked up out in Florida, they that they, he identified and on his arrest record, he's labeled as white. He, he's he's, he's he does he place. looks nothing like he's white okay. at the That's head of Proud Boys is a oh my gosh wait a minute hold, hold on a second I just I just got back here and I heard Jordan say he looks nothing like he's white am I suspecting what I think I'm yeah. suspecting yeah you are you, th- you he psychopath psycho psycho thinks that that he's white somehow I'm telling, I mean, you what he, I'm telling you what he identified that uh, i wish i could i can't oh my god hey, I can't should, you picture. know what he did you know what? i'm on give me a second Look, there's too many all right all right one at one at a time folks hold, hold on hold on okay hold on uh psycho psycho's kind of outnumbered here so let him let him yeah, I, can show, I can show y'all better than i can tell y'all if you give me one second i'll show you what what his arrest record says i don't care what your who opinion cares is. I'm you what his who arrest cares that his arrest way i i really right, well, don't I care can you what, uh, i can show you that that's what i can show you i'm just okay. telling you what he identified that, he did not identify so that's your man. evidence he did so not identify your evidence black man. no I, I understand what you're saying i i fully understand what you're saying you're saying that he's white that he's that he believes that he's white Okay, yeah, I'll right. grant yeah, that to you. I'm gonna I'll look for a grant, picture of him right now. I'll grant right. you. you that that Google, I, I'll tell you his, his name is Henry. You gotta look for Henry. That this is what the record look comes Henry, up. Look for Henry Tario. Look for Henry Tario out in um, Florida. You'll see him. 
Is he, does he look white? Wait, wait, wait. Is he a white guy? The leader of the, hen- the, leader of the Proud Boys? He, he definitely, he, he, he just looks like this. He, looks, he, looks, he definitely looks more pale. He definitely looks more pale in this picture than I normally see him. <laughs> no, he does not look white, bro. He does not look white. Oh my gosh. Can I, just, like, can I say something? Just, look, hit, look what it says race. Uh, uh, go uh, here. Uh, look, at it. look what it says when it says race. Look, this is this is him if you can see on the screen. That's, yeah, uh, that's him. But look at the arrest record. Go, go, go. Find, Henry, find Henry Tario. Did you look up Henry Tario? En- Enrique, Enrique Tario. And look up Henry Tario. That's well, what, the, and, and Enrique is his, his uh, Hispanic name. So right, right. Look up Henry. I'm trying to get you. I mean, we even have black people part, part of this, uh, the Proud Boys too. I mean, look, look at this picture. I posted this on Facebook I mean, a couple is, months ago. This is you honestly one the of the worst now. arguments this is I think I've ever, like, ever heard. You know what? I'm y'all wild. This is it's a terrible argument. I mean, it's you've got a Cuban guy. You got you got a guy who's straight Cuban guy. So you don't have white Cubans? Cuban is a nationality. Your argument is horrible. Cuban is a nationality. Yeah, but you can see him. You can see that he's not. He's not. Right. He's not even. He's not he's even not a white guy. You have, and you, you feel like he's a white nationalist. You have white Cubans. They just you have white played Cubans. you. You have white Cubans. Just, you have black you have, Cubans. You have Tiano. So what point is that? We're talking about this guy. We ain't talking about on the whole. You have Tiano. I just Indians played you his audio. Cuban is a nationality. Of him saying we don't deal in any of that stuff. None of it. Nationality is not a race. Yeah. That this is this is uh it it is easily see again. You, you say that you're you're in the center, you're not left, you're not right, but yet you're utilizing the same exact leftist you argument. Have to you know, you know, you know, and it's a major stretch. The guy, if you put, if you put that, if you put, you know what I hear back to every time I hear that, you know what I hear back to every time I hear that. If you put Enrique Dario, every time I hear you say that, back to you know what I hear, I hear. Retarded. You got you, you to be a leftist because the only people that stick up for black people are, 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 left, are leftists, oh, right? Gosh, people hate go. black people. Because if I had not, I have not, wait, 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 wait. I have not said anything positive about the left. I didn't say anything about race at all. Okay, I'm not, talking about your position, your political talking, position. Oh, we were talking about white. We were talking about white nationalists. We were talking about white nationalists. We yeah, and you're assuming that because, yeah. despite the fact that he has a, a high melanin count, higher than Von Helton here, you still say that he's white. That he's not. I mean, you know, see, see, he's, he's a, a white oh, nationalist. Hold on a second, it's Chikaris. And it doesn't make sense. Actually, yeah. let me let me let me address the Chikaris. Oh wait, hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm making this up. Y'all making it seem uh-huh. like I'm making this up. I'm telling you what his arrest record said. His arrest record. No one cares said, about what his, his, his arrest record said. We, look, we can clearly look at the guy white. and clearly see that he is yeah. not white. It, okay. Not white. It, well, it doesn't matter. Whatever his arrest record. The guy record is not said, Caucasian. Doesn't matter. How is he black? What this is, is the only. This is one of the strangest times I've seen a black person black. want so badly for a person he's to be white. No, he's not black. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's not black. All right, all right, all right. All right. Hold, take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Hold on. Let me. Let me ask. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let me. Let me ask. And what he's not is black. Now, okay, okay. Something else, that's whatever. But I'm we, we didn't say not, anything about him being black, but but he's obviously not white. I mean, if if nothing else, he's an ethnic smoothie, but he ain't white. Okay, now let me let me ask uh Shakara. Let me ask Shakaras and Arthur here, right? Because you, you guys are black men, right? How many times have you guys heard? I don't know if you ever lived if you live in the hood now or if you ever lived in the hood, but if you're around a lot of black people. And when the discussion comes up about the identity, the ethnic identity of a particular person, right? How many times have you heard things like you see somebody who's really light skin, but they got the coarse hair, so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. And and we say and we hear people say, oh, yeah, he black. He black. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> they can look, they can look closer to being white. Anything else. Right. Well, hold on, hold on. They can look closer to being white. Right. They could look. As 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 Caucasian as Jordan here, and I don't even know if you, what your ethnicity is, Jordan. I'm, but let's I'm say all kinds of white. Okay, <laughs> all right. So let's say we have a guy from the hood who looks a, a little bit like Jordan, right? But he takes his hat off, and he's got all this coarse hair, so on and black. so forth. Maybe his lips is a little bit fuller, right? The first thing that you hear black people from the hood say is, "Yeah, he black." He black. Right? What about Sean? What about Sean now, King? Now, 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 what about now, Sean but King? now here we have a case where me, hold on. If you're asking me now, what the average everyday black person in the hood would say, they probably would call him black. But if you ask me what I would call him, 
I wouldn't call him black. I don't even call Obama black. So you you talking to the right so one? Sean, okay, well, Sean, so, yeah, right. At, least, but, at least you got. But you nobody here is saying that Enrique Torrio is black per se. I Obama mean, he's definitely dark skinned, but no, he's not no, white. He's not no, white. Wait, 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 wait. One last thing. One last thing. One last thing. That his rest record. Oh, okay. Well, well, if you could, if you could get, if you could get his rest record up. Hey, 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 psycho, psycho. Google is on your side, man. They hate Trump. They hate conservatives. Hate Trump, so yeah. it should be very easy for you to find it. Trump. This ain't about Trump right now. I'm talking about Trump. Right no, no, no. Trump is at the center of all Trump this. Trump is at the center of this. Well, Trump I, is always at the center. All roads lead to Trump when we're having these discussion of politics. No, no. Because Trump yes, it does. So you know okay, hold, hold on. Veku, Veku, you know me before Trump was in office, and I've always been talking about. Okay, him. no, but, but 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 we're talking about the current so, political uh, climate I now. He Trump to be in office to talk about white supremacist groups. I, I okay, mean, but but you know, eventually it's going to lead to Trump because <laughs> they not. they need they need Trump's connection uh, to the Proud Boys in order to try to accuse him of white supremacy. Okay. And uh, let me let me just say this too, uh, man. I forgot my point. I was going to talk about the the Proud Boys, but look, psycho, psycho, you're not you're not even you're not on the left, right? And you're you're interested no. in seeking out different pers like other. In you're looking, you're interested in finding out information, different perspectives, and 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 see hearing what what these people have to say. I would assume, right? And wanting to know more maybe. information is good and valuable. The guy, the Proud Boys guy. He, Enrique or Henry or whatever you want to call him, he just did an interview on um, on Tim Pool's IRL. You can go yep. sit down. He asks him tough questions. Right there, he way. goes through the whole thing. All what I suggest to you is to go educate yourself on this stuff. Just listen. Just listen and see what the, see what they have to say. See what he has to say because if they're not, it, hold on. Okay. If they're not. Uh, if they are, if they're, if they're actively saying we push, as I just played you, we push out, we we keep out white supremacists. How in the world would we have? Would we then go logically even? How would you then go and say yes, these guys are white supremacists when they actively remove them, they push them out, and they prevent them why from entering? Do you need it? to repeat that when I'm trying to say something, y'all. <laughs> Let me let me correct what I was saying. You, because is, there no right is there no nobody, response to this? Is there no response to this? You have no response to that. You heard what you thought I said. Uh -huh. you didn't hear what I said. What I said was the leader, the leader of the Proud Boys is Chicano, and the chief executive of the Proud Boys is a black man. That's what I said. Yeah, he's not black. I'm telling you, he's not black. I said the leader is white. Let me try well, this. He ain't white. I'm telling, you, I'm you. Me. Is he white? I want to hear you, that, that's you. That's that's hear you I'm say that you, he's you, white. You still I'm telling you what the rest record says. The rest record is. Oh I'm not God, asking you about the rest record. I'm asking what you think. You don't think he's black. Wait, wait, wait. You don't think he's black. I believe that's he, what's on his arrest record. I'm telling you what he identifies as. He identifies. I don't. I. We don't. You don't think that he's black. No, he's right? definitely not so black. I'm asking he's you your opinion black. if you think that he's white. Do you, you think that he's white? I'm not asking about his arrest record. I don't, I don't know what he is. I know what he ain't. He's not black. I know well, you know he ain't, he ain't white. Keep pushing him off you can look at the people, guy and you can tell he ain't white. Him off as a black man. Nobody he keeps pushing him off as a black man. I keep saying Any, uh, thing. Hold on, one, one at a time, just folks. Going uh, in circles and nobody even cares. Yeah. And you're not even willing well, to, to cares, take they to, to listen. Hold on, hold on. Hey, guys, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You didn't hear me right. Hold on, hold on, guys. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. All right. Can you show us the exact spot, uh, Cycle, uh, where does he click personally click identify full, as? Go up to the image where it says click full image, click on that, and then blow it up. And then, yes, yeah, go down right, right under the right that, under the picture. It should say, it should say click full. That don't even look oh, like him. Wait, where, where does it say click? Uh, where, go, where go am down I? A little bit more. It should, right, is it, it don't have nothing that says click full? Uh, right, give, me a give me a second. Let me see if I can click in and give you that. Link. Oh, I well, see full image, maybe. Yeah, see full image. Yeah, click on that. Yes, yes, click on that. Okay. All right. So here, so here it says race W. Right, white. Okay. And that stands for white. That don't stand for black. It don't stand for Tiano Indian. It stands. It stands for white. That's what he identifies as. Okay. So, so why, why do you think that? Uh, why do you think he's uh, changed it then? And when did he change it? 
I don't know when he changed. I'm assuming when they threw him out in the front, the um, the be in front of the Proud Boys as a leader or whatever, so they could keep pushing him off as a black this, man this, and this, say, they say he's not say they not racist. Well, his booking date, guess, his booking no. date was back in uh, uh, 20, uh, 2014. He was right in 2014, six years later, and everybody's saying he's black. I don't understand how that works. Well, the Proud Boys been around since 2016. He doesn't even have to be black. The Proud Boys been around since 2016. He's not white. I know black people that look like this. Come on now, give me a break. Can I get my point out, please? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All right. No, I've never can, seen. I've never seen. I still can't get them. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Uh, let the let uh, 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 oh my gosh. Uh, Vaughn, go ahead. Go ahead. All right. What I said, because Psycho keeps misrepresenting what I said. What I said was, is that the leader of the Proud Boys is Chicano, and their head secretary is a black man, and there he is in the private chat. Google or click on that link in the private chat. You blind as a bat, son of a gun. Click on it. <laughs> He's black. Uh, He's a black man. Okay. Wait, wait, where's that where's that link? Uh um it's in the private chat there. here, Beckle. On the private chat? Okay, private let me go chat. to the private chat. Um, yes. First of all, and he ain't the only one. There's a whole slew of them. Go, 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 go. Okay, right. okay, let oh, let our oh, Arthur go. Go ahead, Arthur. Go ahead. First of all, to address it real quick, um, you there, there's forms of applications. That say race and ethnic background uh, at the same. They, they 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 ask for both. One may say race, black, white, and then one might say race, Hispanic, Hispanic or Latino, um, Indian. Um, you know all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So you can click. You can be a white Hispanic or a black Hispanic. You can be a, a black Indian or a white Indian like that. You know what I'm saying? Second of all, so boom. Um, that's just real quick. First, then the third. The second thing I've been trying to say is. Yo, it doesn't matter, like, if these people are white supremacists or not. You know what I'm saying? The whole thing is that if somebody shoots someone else or kills someone else, they should be prosecuted or at least tried in a trial and put to, and, and sent to prison. You know what I'm saying? If that's mm -hmm. not happening, who cares what these people think about themselves above somebody else? You know what I'm saying? Why distract people or ask someone to denounce something where you're like you're not even like arresting the people that's committing actual crimes? It's not a crime to think you're better than someone. I think I'm better than all of y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's not a crime. You know what I'm saying? I could be a Kamal supremacist all day. You know what I'm saying? But like you know what I'm saying? Like if, if I shoot well, one of y'all and I get away with it, you know what I'm saying? And then don't 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 ask somebody to 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 to, to denounce. To denounce someone who just who's just thinking or just feeling a certain way, you know what I'm saying? So what do you what do you do uh, when when that yeah, group specifically saying, but... says, "I we are not what you, what people are claiming us to be"? What you do we what do we do in that situation? You don't do anything. You do, you're not supposed to do anything in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, I mean, okay, yeah. You're not you're not you like I get that you I get that you don't care, but it's like if people are saying that the proud boys are a white supremacist group and they're saying i'm um, i'm sorry we're not we actually kick out those people then what's the, what is what is like what is the end conclusion so, that we so should be coming to I mean, are, you, are you a proud boy you you a proud boy you affiliated with them? They can that's, that's irrelevant. That's sue. irrelevant. I don't. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm asking. He, he, I'm asking. Was he? What, are you a proud boy? Because he keeps saying. That's like I can. No, I can no, say, no. That, that's say, irrelevant. Hey, to the you're a rapist. Hey, Psycho, you're a rapist. I'm and at, you're like, I'm, I'm not a rapist. For, I'm not a rapist. And I'm like, no. But you're known. You are known to be a rapist. The thing is, is like, so, you so, so, I'm not. Let Psycho respond. Psycho don't allow. Last question. I was just asking, was he affiliated with him? I was honest question. No, I want you to. I want you to de to deal with that logic that I just tossed at you. What what, what logic are you tossing? At? I I can say, hey, psycho, you are a rapist because mm -hmm. I hear that you're. I, I'm labeling you as a rapist. I didn't label right? you. And, I was asking. And, and what are you going to say? Are you going to say yes? I'm a rapist. You're going to you. No, you're not a rapist, right? I asked you whether or not you was a proud boy. That's what I asked you. I no, asked he's you're, giving you a scenario. You're he's giving you. I'm I'm giving you a, a a logical example to battle with to see exactly. 
to see how you how you're thinking about these questions. things. You asked, I asked a direct question. Yes, no question. You already asked that. Right, no, I don't think he's I'm getting saying, you're a proud boy. You're not. I'm like, showing the flaw. If you ask me, if you ask me, you're you're not, I, I don't. Jordan, I don't think he's getting it. I don't think he understands. Yeah, I don't think that you understand what I'm what I'm what I'm doing here. I'm trying to demonstrate. I'm demonstrating the flaw in your logic. That has what you logic saying am I using by that asking he, a simple question. You can't even you you can't even be uh, quiet for a moment so that I can Psycho, finish you my really statement. Got your question. That's what happened. Question. I'm asking, I asked the yes or no question. Like, are you? Because you keep. No, you gave him a gotcha question. We took him out. Like, out. Hold, hold, on, hold on, folks. Hold on, folks. Real, real quick, I want the because I want. I just want to welcome uh, to the room, uh, Son of God. Who's? Uh, oh, is this P Mars? P Mars. What's going on? Peace, peace, peace. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Continue. Go ahead, so Psycho. can you right, can you okay? How about how about this? Psycho. I wasn't trying to you ask me. No, 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 stop, 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 stop for a problem. moment. Can you I just stop wanted to know if you're affiliated with it. How about this? You can ask me whatever the question is that you want, and I will answer it. And then you can can deal with the question that I'm asking you. Then you can then we can go through that. Does that sound like a fair thing for us to do? Yes. Now, can we establish what positions we have? Now, are you are you actually a proud boy? Because that's what I'm trying to no, establish. No, I am oh not gosh. a proud boy. No. Okay. All right. All right. Because you was confusing me with the we stuff. That's why I asked. Because I, I wanted to know. Uh, am I talking? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know anything about boy. this we stuff. No, I am not a proud boy. I'm not affiliated with any of these groups. Out. You said we kick people out if we find out white supremacists are involved. I'm speaking I mean, in. I'm speaking I'm in it. his oh first God. person because that's what he says. He says. Because I, I went, went in the the way that I was saying it is I was saying that what they're saying is we kick these people out, right? Okay. So I'm that right. that's the structure of right. this of the sentence. Yeah, all right, the, all right. The that's where the so, miscommunication went. Okay. Okay. So so my my question to you then is is if you are labeled as a racist uh -huh. and no or or not a racist but a rapist, right? Uh -huh. And what what would your response to that be? Well, somebody asked me, am I a rapist? I would no, say, no, 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 no. They label you. Not they, they don't ask you. They tell you that you are a rapist. Well, I would say it's a lie. Well, but they're no, 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 no. Because you are. That's and that's that's see the thing I is, am, is that you have rapist. no escape. Hold on. Uh, well, let, me, let, me, let me finish. Let me finish. In the way that that's in, the point. In what I'm doing is I'm making it so that you don't even have a way to say that you aren't you would you you remove all ability for yourself to defend yourself so yeah, when I, I can sit here hold on when i can sit here and i can play you the, the audio there's a video of it too of of him literally saying we have no association to the white supremacists and these right. hate groups that is well, not who we that, are well, it's the well, same I logic will say, i will say this is this guy's a black man now that finally y'all gave me a black man don't this pivot don't man. pivot now you're, wait, you're wait. pivoting. Don't pivot pivoting. off. I wasn't done. I wasn't even done. I was. Saying, you didn't even start. <laughs> but you address what I said. What I was doing. I answered your question. I'd like for this to at least come to some kind of conclusion. I answered your question about the rapist already. I mean, what other questions did you just ask? So you agree then yeah. that yeah, okay. just because somebody accuses him of being uh, or accuses the Proud Boys of being a white supremacist, even though there's no evidence of it, you, you agree that you can't just jump to that conclusion arbitrarily without right. any evidence, right? Because then you would be then I, then you would be able to just be labeled as a, as a rapist. It happens all the time. People do that all the time. What do you mean? Like, okay, so then now you can acknowledge so, 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 that. Why would you jump on that bandwagon? Wait, 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 wait. OJ has never been convicted of murder. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They was never able to prove Two wrongs don't make a right. Two wrongs don't make a right. Psycho, psycho, psycho. Two wrongs don't make a right. We're not talking about OJ. Psycho, do you believe that the Proud Boys, do you, do you believe or do you know for a fact that the Proud Boys are white supremacist group? I believe them to be white supremacists. Yes, I do. Okay, and what evidence do you have of that? What reason do you have to believe that? Well, first of all, you're, 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 the evidence y'all are giving me is, is evidence right here. Like, okay. first of all, you're giving me a black guy with a Confederate flag on it. On, 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 uh, oh, a my God. Which says a lot. Which says a lot. You don't know what white supremacist is. Supremacy yeah, is there. I don't think you understand then. this at all. I don't even really need to know. That is not white supremacy, bro. What that's why is it dude? You've been watching way why too many it? Dave Chappelle shows, man. That's I, know, I was just really? thinking okay, the same thing. thing. I was like, dude, you're, you're telling me that this like, guy, because he's wearing a Confederate flag uh right. a badge on his jacket, right? That's not that's like proof that the Proud wait, Boys wait, 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 w
the, 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 the logic here is just absolutely astounding flag. to me. Not even the Confederate flag. You, you, you're that's telling that's the rebel flag. That's not even the, the rebel flag, flag. whatever. The, it's that's associated flag. with white supremacy. As, as it's been associated with white supremacy for a long time. Okay. Yeah. But the fact yeah, of the matter bro. is, you're telling me that because this black man here is wearing this badge on his jacket, right? And he's a part of the Proud Boys. Therefore, right. the Proud Boys is a white supremacist group. I'm telling you, this is the evidence that they're not a white That's supremacist group. That's the way, man. Okay. Okay. Missing, oh, gosh. They're not okay. Like, no, 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 no. He said this is evidence. <laughs> you're getting somewhere. This means nothing. Yeah. Okay. 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 They, they intended, but that's a red flag. <laughs> this is not. I want to just make sure that we that we all clearly heard this. This <laughs> image right here that's on the screen is evidence. What Psycho is saying, evidence of why it's not a white supremacist group. <laughs> No, that, I said, that's what you. That's what, you what I believe you just said. No, I said and you would I be said, correct. Then you would your, be correct. I said, your, I said your evidence is enough evidence for me to believe that that is a white supremacist group. Absolutely, because you're giving me How? a black man. You're giving me a black man who's obviously catering to white supremacy, who's probably paid off because ain't like y'all sit up here talk about. The left oh, didn't pay off the other stuff, which I which I don't disagree with, which I don't disagree with, but which y'all fail to understand is your side got people that's getting paid off too, like Blexit. Blexit's a a, a, a paid mm -hmm. off group. Who's paying Blexit? Y'all already know George Soros mm -hmm. and Antifa and BLM and all this other stuff. Yeah, Who's paying off Blexit? Yeah. Because that last time I saw Candace uh, Owens, Candace uh, Owens, uh, Candace uh, Owens filled it a, a whole group of black people, a whole room full of black people that all admitted that they got paid to be there, that all admit they got paid to be there at some Trump rally. No, 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 Stop right, stop right there. That's not true. That's not true. No, see, again, let me, let me jump in real quick. Let me jump in real quick. Again, folks, this is exactly what you just heard Psycho do is, an, again, another example of how the left twi likes to no, twist just, stuff around. I just, I just okay? the left I'm not calling you a left. I'm not calling you a leftist. Hold on. Why I'm not, I'm not calling talking about the left. Why hold on. This hold on. The I'm not. You're repeating stop, the stop, same stop. things that they were stop. saying. Psycho, Psycho, hold on. The reason I'm not calling you a leftist by saying that. I'm saying that you are repeating the rhetoric that the left utilizes in order to try to validate their claims, okay? First of all, they, hold on a second. It is a leftist, it is a leftist tactic. You, you don't have to be a leftist in order to utilize their tactic, okay? To use that, okay? I'm using facts on both sides. I've used facts it's on not, both but, sides. But what you're saying is demonstrably, both hold on a second. What you're saying though, what, what you're saying is demonstrably false. You know why I know? Because I guarantee you that you haven't even watched a full video of those rallies. All you, what you saw was commentary. Hold on a second. What you, hold on a second. Wait, wait a minute. What you saw was commentary about those events. You saw MSNBC commentary, or Roland Martin, a Roland Martin commentary, or a CNN commentary. But you didn't actually watch the events, watch the interviews in and of themselves of those people who put those units, put those things together. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. Hold on. You didn't watch those. I know you didn't. Because if you did, you wouldn't be saying what you're saying right now. Hold on. I'm going to I'm gonna get to the point. I'm going to get to the point. Let me get to the point. Hold on. Let me get to the point. 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 The point is that were there, were there, a lot of those people paid to get there? No. They were financially assisted to get there through travel. Okay. That's no. it. Because a lot of these people couldn't afford to get there. They wanted to get there, so they were. They went to the uh, to Blexit, and they paid for their uh, at, uh, for their travel to get there. That's all. It wasn't like I mean you, but but see, but you see how the leftists do. This is what the leftists. Hold on a second. But the leftists. I mean, what's you got? I'm I'm gonna mute you, man, because you gotta let me finish. <laughs> See, what the leftists want you to believe is that because these people like Candace Owen and, and Brandon Tatum and the people who uh, put these th these events together, because they gave money to people who don't have the money, the funds to get out there, but show a desire to get out there. Therefore, that's considered bribery. That's not bribery. Mm -mm. That's what they're trying. That's what the left wants. The, the, the left, the left wants seen. you to believe. Perfectly acceptable. The left wants you to believe yep. that they were that a lot of black people are stupid yep. and they don't know how to think for themselves. So they got bribed by a whole bunch of other stupid black people to go out to this event to the White House. This and see, and this is the problem. This is the problem. Had none of those black people gone anyway, what would we be doing today? Thinking today, 
we would still continue to think that no black people can think for themselves because that's why we have so many people a part of the Democratic Party. We're not thinking for you. That no, no, <laughs> that every every black person is is, is thinks Democrat. Democrat. You gotta let me finish, man. Mm -hmm. But nobody nobody here is buying that. You don't have any evidence that these any of those people that went out there were bribed to be out there. There's no evidence of that. None. None. Right. I challenge you. Give right. me so documentation. They don't, they don't have quotes from people that I challenge there. any one of you. Bring in Roland Martin. You can bring in uh, Jabari, yeah, whatever his last name. There. You can bring in, uh, you know, yeah, whatever his name is. Uh, what's that guy's name? That was there. Bring, bring, bring. Give me evidence that any, any one of them Jesus. that I showed up to either one of these events that happened more than once. Did they make a profit? This is what the right likes to do. This is what the right likes to do. Let's talk about what the right likes to do. You always talk about the left. I don't even disagree. The left is full. Oh, right. Oh, you're not going to open the door close now because like, you yeah, want to. Oh, back. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You see, we, we, we this is another. Right see, see, and here's here's another thing that the left does too. Every time I say something, y'all shot me down. I couldn't even get out. But what the right does. Wait a minute. Wait, we're not. We didn't put this. Let him. Let him speak. Honestly, we didn't put this point to close you yet though you you made a claim so you can't do this psycho you can't make a claim and then fail to validate it i didn't even get to say nothing what was your claim you claim is that people that black people that the hundreds of black people that showed up at these blexit events where that was hosted by the blexit leaders and and uh and trump being a guest speaker uh the speaker you're saying that all of those people were bribed i want to see evidence of that all those people, and I didn't say they was all, but well, they was all paid. Is what I said. You but, said they were paid. I want to see it. Right, right. Yeah, paid they, that, paid that's for lodging paid. and travel. I'm, I'm that's what they were paid. Yeah, you're right. Lodging, lodging and, and travel, travel so that they can make it there. But, but, but now, right. do you let me, have let me a problem with that? It's like, let me say one last thing. That? Let me say one no, last thing. When psycho, no, when people not. like psycho says that these black people were paid to be out there, in in other words, you might as well be saying that black people still don't know how to think for themselves. That's why they ended up going to this event because all the black people that showed up are stupid Negroes. They don't know how to think for themselves. Why is that called thinking for yourself? What, what other reason could you come up for saying something like that? How is that exactly. thinking for yourself? Psycho, 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 let me explain something to you, psycho, let me explain something to you, when you say to me that all of those black people, the only reason why they showed up is because they got paid to be there, okay, what you're telling me is that these people have no morals, I'm telling you, being I'm telling you, being a Trump supporter is a meal ticket. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Absolutely, I'm telling you, Brandon. So what? So what? That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I'm telling you, Brandon Tatum is being paid. I'm telling oh, Candace oh, Owens is being paid. Who cares? Who's old boy, old boy named King? Who cares? Old boy named you know I'm talking about. Dude died from AIDS. Oh my gosh! For the black dude, King, what's his name? Let's King talk King. about the meal ticket. Yeah, that that weirdo. Yeah, he's getting paid too. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, all them people getting paid. Hotel Jesus even got down with these people a long time ago, and even and came out and exposed them as all being grifters. And then him and Brandon Tatum even got into a big argument about this. And yeah, I saw. The, I saw. The, yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So these people, yeah, they, but that argument, the argument was about uh, Amar, 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 Amar Aubrey, and they being funded by your party. Your party is funding. Where's the evidence? There's the evidence. They are they're, funding the evidence. You keep touting all this stuff, they, they all these claims, but you're not substantiating. You keep touting all this stuff, but you're not substantiating. To try to get black people to jump from one plantation to another plantation. Hey man, I'm much rather be a part of the Republican plantation than the Democrat plantation. I tell you that right now. Hold on, hold on a second. See, see, see. Hold on, cycle, cycle. Slow down, because you're throwing out a lot of things here. And, and you're not giving anybody a chance one. to address one of them. Okay. First of all, you did not provide any evidence that any of these black people that participated in two of these Blexit events that happened at the White House, okay, two of them since Trump's been in office, have been paid. We don't see any evidence of that. Okay. The closest you're going to get to is what I pointed out. You just deny it and say it's leftist propaganda the closest, from the media. Hold on. The closest that you're going to the the go the, Hold on. Psycho, psycho, psycho. When you bring up the media, you're talking about the leftist-run media like CNN, MSNBC, yeah, and even guys like Roland Martin. That, okay, dude, dude, I mean, these people. Do you're gonna do. Uh, when you go to CNN, when when hey, the second, hold on a second, hold on, slow down. When Trump, when they had that second uh, White House event for for the Black Youth Conference, okay, what did these idiots 
like CNN's uh, Don Lemonhead uh, and his uh, and his uh, panel of black people say about those black people who don't think like them. They're a bunch of Uncle Toms, they're coos, mediocre Negroes, so on and so forth. So now, wait a minute, hold on a second. These are coming from people who claim that they want to get away from, they want to try to get pe white people from stereotyping black people, from making all black people think that we are monolithic. But yet when they come across one black person or a group of black people that don't think like them, all of a sudden that black person is a cool, you know, uh, an uncle Tom, right? Uh, I'm not dying. And, uh, hold on a second, let, let me finish, let me finish. Because this is the stuff that kind of pisses me off a little bit about some of you leftists. Don Lemons a far left Hold on a second. This is the stuff that kind of pisses me off a little bit about some of the leftists, all right? Because you claim Why up you and down that you don't you, you want you they want so bad to get you, hold on a second. Oh, it's our shit, man. You want so badly from, from non wearing, man. Hold on a second. You want so badly for non-black people, whites, and other people outside of our community to stop stereotyping black people, but yet you Man. You and many people like you resort to those same uh, those attacks same tactics, right? When they when you have you white people that don't think like you, you're doing it. You're stereotyping me. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm defending. See how many times you call me a leftist today, Beckel. You are doing the same thing. You are stereotyping me because you are you are arguing like them. You know you what? Are, every is, argument that you, you can't in here with is what are you left doing? like a sellout, and you are arguing like a sellout. So what's the point? Yeah, I'm a sell off for Jesus. Yes, I am. I'm a sell out. Yeah, I, I sold out for Jesus. I'm a sell. I'm a sell out. Yeah, I'm a sell out for Jesus. I'll take that. That's news to me. I'm a sell out. I'm a sell out for Jesus. I'll take that. Show me the scriptures where he said what about the sell out for the gods of creation? I'm a sell out for Christ. Political party. That's news. Going in circles here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, see, see, they, see, again, you, you're not a left. Look, if you want to identify as non leftist, non right, yeah. okay, fine. Oh, fine. I'll give you that respect. Mm -hmm. But that does not get away from the way you are arguing. You are utilizing leftist tactics yeah, in order I'm to try to refute yeah. these things yeah. that are truthful. Right or the left, I don't care where it's coming from. If it's the truth, it's the truth. Okay, yeah, but, but when we tell you what the truth actually is, you utilize yeah. more leftist yeah, tactics to try to refute the truth that's been revealed to you. Beckel, all you did was just say, uh, show oh me my this, gosh. Show me that and everything else. And I already know, Beckel, because we've been down this avenue before. The second I start dropping, you saw it. No, we haven't. We have not. No. No, we haven't. No. If it, don't, if it ain't coming from Fox News, you don't want to hear it. No, no, but, hey, I don't That's trust Fox News one hundred percent either. Come on, now give me a break with that. Get out of here with that. Fox News corrupt too. Come on, man, get out of here with that mess. Richard Ailes voted for Hillary. Richard Ailes voted for Hillary. What are you talking about? Yeah, you know. All right, psycho. Go ahead and say what you got to say. It, it seems like we're just gonna have to wait for you to leave the room or for you to stop talking in order for us to get our point across because uh, you get easily triggered by. Any type of ref refutation anything, we come up with, yeah. any type of your arguments, you you objections you raise. I stubbed my toe. Oh my God. About me being a leftist and all this other stuff. I, I would just appreciate if y'all just address what I'm actually saying. You um, are addressing it, but we're saying that what you're saying is coming from its leftist rhetoric. <laughs> no, no, no. And yours it's, is right, but yours is right wing rhetoric. What's your point? What's your okay, point? okay. Your point? That's fine. There's no problem with that. But what the point, my point is, I don't care if it's left or right rhetoric. I'm, right, we're talking so about whether or not the rhetoric that you bring, we're talking about whether or not the rhetoric that you're bringing to the table is factual. <laughs> That's what matters. Right. That's what matters. We're not I, talking I, about I whether it's, because we got people on the right who utilize. We got people on the right who are never Trumpers who utilize the same type of tactics that's predominantly used on the left. Yeah, I like to box. Well, you call them I, can I get you in? Can I get in a word? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Jordan. Go ahead. Okay, so the thing about it is this is this is kind of the problem that I think that what we're what we're seeing. And when you when you say these when you say these certain kinds of things like um, Blexit. Candace Owens paid um, paid black yeah. people to tr to um, attend a, um, a a rally at the White House for Trump. Right. When you say that, that that means a specific thing. That means that they were effectively hired. Right. This is this is the interpretation that people get is that they were hired to go there. But the reality of the situation, and this is not a this is not a right talking point at all. This is just the facts of the matter are 
is that there were already the supporters, but they could not make it to to that location and, and, and pay for lodging and all of that. So what they did is they said, hey, you know what we're going to do? We're going to pay for your lodging and travel so that you guys can attend because we want you guys to be able to show your support and love for the president, right? And they say, great, that's fantastic. I, I would love to. Now, this, so that, and so when you, when you start t saying those kinds of things, when we say that's a leftist tactic, it's we're we're not saying that you are a leftist. We're saying that that running that narrative is is a narrative that the tactic that of of a, it's the narrative of the left that's based on a tactic that they use in well, order to mislead really, really the public you. and I make really people and it makes people think that <laughs> that right. they were bribed right. or paid. To really attend right. it when the reality is that it isn't right. But let, right, let me tell you what it's really based on. Now, what it's really based on is me not being left or right, but me caring about my community and me knowing when okay. I see shield when I see shields <clears throat> on, both, on both sides of the table on both sides of the table because I call out Mr. Don Lemon too. I'm not a fan of Don Lemon. I'm not a fan of Roland Martin. I go ham on on Roland Martin. I can't stand him. <laughs> He's annoying. He's one of the issues. He's another issue, but that's a whole different topic. We all agree on Roland Martin, so there's no need for us to preach. No need for me to preach to the choir, so to speak. No pun intended. So at the end of the day, it's no. We agree on all that. I got issues with those shields, but it's shields on the right too. And the shields on the right is all these Blexit people that's trying to sell our people a fake bag of goods. And I, and yes, I speak out on them as well so, as the Roland Martins and everybody else of the, um, of the crowd. Because again, I'm a centrist. I don't deal with all this nonsense. I feel like my people is caught up in somebody else's fight. This ain't even our fight. We are pawns in somebody else's game in this political thing. And okay. I, I and, and I I I support reparations and neither party okay, let's not go let's party, not, well, no, I'm, I'm let's not go to another topic no, i need i need to say this because people need to understand my political affiliation is so i can stop being labeled this thing all right now i i am somebody who supports reparations the ados movement and everything else and we do not associate with either party we are sitting we are we are all about holding our votes hostage to the highest bidder whoever's going to cater to our demands and neither party is going to cater to our demands at this in this election so therefore what? i am giving neither party my support this is about this is about shields and exposing nonsense that's going on within this political landscape that's all it's about with me that's but, it. okay so here's so here's the thing about that though is so you're basically saying that you are buying you're using this the left's tactic of of the bribery line of that that narrative right you're using that left specifically left tactic the left, tactic. Specific, the, left hold on, hold the left want me to be like a lot of other black people and vote blindly for the left without asking I'm not I'm not to, talking I'm not about the vote. Vote. I'm not right, I'm not right. talking about that but what I'm what I'm saying is that is that you are using this 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 uh bribery accusation that's being tossed at at the at, at uh, Blexit and all of that stuff, right? You're using that, and you're you're. It seems like you're kind of accepting that as being true because you don't like that these black people support Trump. No, I don't like that they. I don't like the fact that they're supporting. Any party. I don't like the fact they support any party. It's ain't about Trump. This have you ever been, thought about why they McClain. why they support wait, wait, Trump? Wait, 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 wait. This could have been McLean. This could have been Sarah Palin. I don't care. This ain't. I'm not. I'm. I don't. I don't care about. I'm not all Trump triggered like a lot of other people. I don't care about Trump. And it ain't that deep. Like Trump is just another racist president we had. We had many in our history since the first president. Not even had. racist. The first president we had in this country owned slaves. We always <laughs> the first racist president we've had in this country. So they I don't. I, oh I'm not God, God, God. I mean, okay. So, well, the whole this this whole thing though is like it's you you're you're imposing your uh, your. It sounds to me like you're imposing your will onto other black people. And you're using what no, is no, what no, is no, actually no. lies Everybody does in so. order to in order to Everybody. reach your goal. How, how, why, why, how am I opposing? Right here. Because, because you're trying to I'll, oppose I'll will on black people. Because is Martin and them trying to oppose their will on black people. No, I'm a person who got my opinions on what we need to do and what's best for our community, and I'm gonna shoot sure. my. But what you're doing, so what you're I doing am. is you're is you're using a lie. What you're doing is you're using a lie. 
in order to say that black people were paid to go to this. Okay, well, how is that? That's a lie. Prove that's a lie. So, so, uh, debunk it. Okay, yeah. here. No. They, I mean, well, she there's never had a I'm not debunking nothing. You just said it was a lie. Now, I'll, debunk it. I'll debunk it right now. I'll debunk okay. it right now. Look. She is lying. Do you have a problem? Okay, so Do you have a problem it. with people who support somebody? Who are financially destitute? They do not. They are not able. That's your opinion. To, that's not. That's not. That's it. not a fact. That's your opinion. That's this, not, I, I'm, I'm waiting for the facts. That's going to. No, and I'm, I'm asking you. I'm asking you your lie. opinion. You said what I said was a I'm, lie. I would like for you to prove that that's a lie. Not uh, your opinion about me. That's cool. I, I, you know that's fine. I you can prove no. you're lying. No, 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 I need your opinion in order to do it, okay? Do you, how you, wait, you I do, because, because what you have to be have able to, 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 to think about it. You facts have to be able to opinion. think about it. Facts over opinions. I, I need facts. Okay, I'm back. I'm, I'm giving you, I'm, the, look, the fact is conservative activist Candace Owens paid travel and lodging to some guests at Trump's White House that's event. All she did. Right? That's all she did? That's, that's, all, that's, that's all what she did. did. There's yeah, the yeah. article right there. You, I, I've got the okay, article in the thing that's from it. the rap. Okay. All right? It's oh, right, it's right from there. Bradley. Of course, they're going to say it. I thought you had an independent source. This comes from I don't, know, I don't even <laughs> know. <laughs> We've got it's Hollywood cover. Okay. Okay. You see, you know, is I don't, I don't. I don't on is Blexit going to get on their platform and say, yeah, we paid everybody to come out here and gave them money to say this? They've already thing. admitted it. Of course, they're not going to say it. They, they, they admitted that the, the members, the, the people, the faculty members, Already it publicly admitted that they help a lot of people to come out there because they could not yeah. afford to get out there. And do you? Right. Th that's not bribery. They're more than just, just, in, they don't, they're not going to admit that they covered more than just travel costs. But, but, but psycho, we, we yeah. got no, psycho, psycho. Are you telling me though that these people still did not, the, the people that were allegedly bribed, according to you? Are you still telling me that they did not want to come out there, that they made a conscious decision not to get out there, that the only reason why they were motivated to be at that event was because of money? Yeah. Yeah. Then, see, thank you for, thank you for, again, va validating this idea that black people are not monolithic. The black, no, black people are monolithic. Yeah, you're totally not monolithic. I know yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but you, that's what you have to believe. No, because the, the black people that went out to these events, they can't think for themselves. Okay, they no, don't know what the heck they're getting involved in. They don't know how to. They don't know how to vote anything opposite of the Democrat Party. You ain't, you ain't so they went out there only motivated by money. You ain't been paid, and you're a Trump supporter. Yeah. That ain't That's right. right. So yeah. what? That's but I wanted to go out there. I wanted to go out there. Right. Yeah, I got on the boat. Right. Why, why did you? Why did you? This is absolutely. You, this is called moving the goalposts. All right. Okay. And this is exactly what the left does with Trump. Yeah, ever I'm since he's been in office. I'm Every time Trump does something positive right they still find something negative to say about it he's damned if he does damned if he does the left the democrats black people out there him being the democrats are doing the same exact self-serving the democrats helping the community now hold on hold on the democrats are doing the same exact thing with amy coney barrett yes okay the woman is the woman is practically spotless yes you are absolutely right yes you are right i'm not going to argue with you the difference is i'm not going to argue with you about that you're the one that you're arguing with me about what you're talking to a psycho you know i'm gonna just have to wait till you leave man because i i got a lot of points i mean your argument is so easily uh easily refuted but the, the, the problem is, though, that you keep jumping in. Remember, so, folks, but, go ahead, go ahead, Remember, folks, you said, you said the when you come in here, there was no black But let's talk about what's and going on here. Keep that in mind, folks. Keep that in mind. No, what did you say, come Vaughn? Repeat that. He come, he come in this room, said there was no black crowd boys, and I proved him wrong. Okay? No, I, did, I, no, I, I, I said that. Oh, yeah. No, I said the Enrique dude wasn't black. That's what I said. Rewind the tape. You I said, said the Enrique no dude was not black. black. That you was said what I said. No I, you said the leader I of the party. You, 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 you said okay, the leader but, but, uh, of the party. Okay, but let me jump in. Let me jump in, though. No, he's not. Let me jump in, though. See? But see, Psycho, what what you're doing, the the fact that you're arguing about the the nationality, the ethnicity of Enrique Taro. The fact that you're arguing about black people showing up at these oh, events, okay? Mm -hmm. Your <laughs> only conclusion 
uh, all your all your conclusions about these particular individuals who don't think like you are one and the same. Well, in, in other words, you, you, in other words, you you have to say that if you are black, I'm hold on a second. But psycho, you're not you're not understanding my point though, and you don't even realize it. I'm pointing this out to you about a problem with your thinking here, and you don't realize it. The problem with your thinking is that as much you kind of say, as much as you try to it, it, it say that black people are not monolithic, mm -hmm. this is essentially what you want to believe and adhere to anyway. Can okay, I, and the reason and the evidence is is it is evident in the fact that you know, number one, that you're arguing about the fact that black people that showed up at these uh, youth black uh, events in Washington. Are, are all bribed, are all paid. So, in other words, you're saying that none of these people wanted to go anyway. They only went because they were motivated by money. Okay, you don't have any evidence of that, because and I guarantee you haven't watched any of the events. Yeah, and then you say, and then, and then and then you have a problem. On a, on a, and then you have a problem with the Proud Boys, with black people being in the Proud Boys. So when you have when you come at us with these objections, right? You're essentially telling people like me that black people are monolithic, and that the ones who don't think like like uh, like you do or many other black people do are some somehow being traitorous or me, being a, a race me, traitor or denying their ethnicity or something like that. Me, me and, saying and that's ridiculous. Me, me, me saying that all these different black people think different is not me saying black people are monolithic. That's me quite saying the opposite. That's me saying that we are not monolithic. No, 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 no. If, if you, no, if you're saying that black people are monolithic, you are also saying that they don't, that black people don't I, I think differently. Black people is monolithic. That, in, in fact, hold on, speaking of the word monolithic, let, what what about your boy Biden? What did he say about blacks and Latinos uh, last week? Oh, Biden's a piece of crap. He's a racist, he's a racist too. Oh yeah, okay. Is he he's as racist as Trump is? Yeah. But we are Biden. I'm gonna tell you, Biden. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. The difference between Biden and Trump is Biden is a covert on racism, and Trump is way more overt with his racism. Oh, give me a break. You don't have any. I want to play with that. I want to play with that. I want to play with that. Hold on, let me, let me, let me, hold on, hold on, hold on. Jordan, Jordan, before you do, let me just, uh, re, uh, let me just recall real quick what Biden said, just in case, because uh, we have a lot of people who are not privy to this information. But for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, you can see a video for, of it for yourself. There was, uh, yep. Biden, Joe Biden made a comment uh, at some Latino event, and he said that Latino, uh, black people are not as diverse <laughs> as, as those in the Latino community. So uh just wanted to put that out there. Go ahead, Joe. Oh, oh, trust me. Oh, I, I, I like I said, you, um, if you paid attention to my channel, you already know my opinions about all this. I broke down the whole left black quote unquote black agenda that the left has and everything else and how they plan on doing all this other stuff for all these other demographics. And when it came to I broke sure. all this down, and when it came to the black agenda, the thing was so small, so short, like they like trust sure. me. I okay. spoke I wanna to, I, spoke I, I would I want I want to play with yes, something right. that you said. Yeah, the left is full of crap. I, 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 I want to play with I, something I, that you said because it really. I want to go ahead, Jordan. Something that that you said because I I found it really interesting. You said that Trump is an open racist and that Biden is a covert racist. So now my my question to you, and I, I I'm I, I this is what I'll do. I no, I will actually, uh, for the for the sake I, of I, argument on on those individual points, I will just grant you that the both of those are true. Okay. Now, what would you rather have? Would you rather have someone who is covert about their racism, which means that they that they will go and they will effectively do tons of racist acts that you are uh, are largely unaware of, which means they will they will put into place policies, they will they will they will pass legislation, they will do actual systemic racist stuff that we have seen, and I'm sure that you would even acknowledge that Biden has done with his 93 criminal criminal bill. 94, 94. 94, sorry. Um, so, so would you rather have, have that or someone who says who says um um they're they're sending their they aren't sending their best, they're sending you know, rapists and Mexicans and some are rapists and, and, and murderers and drug dealers. And some I assume are good people or things like um, go back to your 
um, go back to your country, try out socialism over there, and then if you get it figured out, come back over here. Which like, I would have repeated so, myself. Right, right. But those those are those are those are some examples of where people view him as being racist, right? So which which of those two would you prefer? You have to choose one, right? Because we're getting the, those those are our options right now. So which one would you prefer, the covert or the or the or the overt? The overt. I, I, that's a false yeah. dichotomy. Like I, I, I don't. No, we've, we've only got two. We've only got two. I'm a centrist for a reason. I don't. I don't. I don't subscribe to the lesser of two evils. No, 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 no. no. That, that, that's that's, that, that, that's the trick bag that black. Okay, so you're, you're just like I'm not even gonna. You're not. You're not even voting. voting. Y'all don't allow me to answer. So you're, you're not, not voting. voting. Wait, let, let, let cycle respond. Let cycle respond. Yeah. But even though I vehemently he's disagree, not, he's not voting. Right? Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, you know, I don't Odin. agree with the whole lesser two evils argument. You know, evil is evil, right? It is no lesser of of the evil. It, you, evil is evil. That's that, that's the way I view things. Like I think the whole lesser two sure. evils thing is what got had, um, what got black people caught up in this whole trick bag of mm -hmm. of, 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 um, of throwing our allegiances to parties without demanding anything. Because so you're Beckham, not voting because now. Beckham, because <laughs> Beckham, because the Democrats because a lot of black people vote Democrat. And we vote Democrat without demanding anything of the Democrat. And they so think you're not voting. Right? Once right? I'm almost done. 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 i like, like I never hear black Republicans ever say they demand anything of their party. They just voting against the left. That's all. They like they upset with the left, so they just voting against the left because they don't like the left. But they're not demanding that's anything me. of the Republicans. But you, but that's the problem because you're not demanding anything of the Republicans. Nobody you know, because the Republicans are not doing anything that's contrary to. Black I, I don't see. I don't. You know, anything of these political, of these, um, of these political entities. So that's why I'm like. That's why I, I fall back, and, and I'm trying to form. I'm, I'm trying to form a different agenda, agenda an actual black agenda that's going to benefit our people. You're a black nationalist. You don't do well. You're I am black. A, you know that. You're black. You're black nationalist, as you admitted a couple years ago. Yes. You still, you still lie to this day. So it's, so it's, so it's, so it's okay to be a black nationalist, but not a white nationalist. White nationalists, but my whole thing is this: if you, if, if, if um, why are people denying that they're white nationalists? See, I didn't deny that I was a black nationalist when you just called me one. I didn't deny it, but everybody yeah. denying hey. this proud boy stuff. So I, I, they, I, wouldn't they deny it? If the proud boys are not white nationalists. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wouldn't they deny it if they're not? <laughs> I want to. I want to. I would like to to know though. Um, so, are you going to vote then? Yes. Okay, yes, so, believe, then, believe, so then, if, believe, so then I when I tell you, vote. I do believe we should vote, but I don't think we should vote for either party. Be myself. Okay, so you're I'm voting sure third party. This election, yeah, this election, I'm gonna be voting for um, that Howard Hawkins guy, Green Party. I'm not a Green Party guy. They look okay. too, they look too, they're too <laughs> <Billy is funny. laughs> but they're the only candidate, but they, he's the only candidate that even is in a total He's the only doing candidate anything in for, Does he have a plan? I'm gonna throw my vote to him. I know he's not gonna win, but hey, uh, does he have a plan? For specifically for black people, the Green Party is a legitimate party. But I, don't know I, I would like to, I would like to know because I don't know, I don't know anything about this person, and, and you, you, you're going to be casting your vote for him. Well, he's, the only, he's the only candidate that my, my main issue going into this election was reparations. That he's the only candidate that is that's entertaining it. Hey, 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 Arthur, uh, hold, on, hold on a second. Can't really uh, hear what Cycle was saying when you were talking. Yeah, I, I was saying he's the only candidate that is even entertaining in reparations. So that's why I'm throwing my vote to him. <laughs> okay, okay. So that's like that's the reason why. Oh, man. Yeah, we, we, we got so much to talk about in so little that's time. Years ago, seriously, two hundred and fifty years ago, seriously, man. Hey, you know, fine, no, 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 fine. I don't do it. Fine, don't do it. Don't do it, Vine. That would be like ago. me. That would be like me saying, "Hey, y'all got to pay because of trail of tears, man." You want to get up here? Okay, okay, hold on. Tears happened long before y'all happened. Okay, hold, hold on, guys, hold on, hold on. Let's let's take it. Okay, guys, guys, let's let's take it. Let's take a breather for a second. I just want to welcome. Uh, I just want to welcome um, uh, Gideon to the room. Gideon, welcome. 
Uh, peace, 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 man. What's going on, everybody? Good, good. Long time no see. It's been a while. Yeah. Yes, I'm here. I'm still here. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to have to wrap up the room uh, in about maybe 30 minutes so so we can continue I, the conversation. I one thing. Uh, <laughs> but, there's a, can you yeah, show yeah, go, me? Wait, wait, Gideon, go ahead and say what you got to say. Then we have to have a, uh, take a break from a uh, word from our sponsor. So go ahead. Okay. Can you put up that as a, as a quote by Malcolm X when he was talking about the liberals? And he was like how they're like black people's worst enemies. Malcolm X made that, made that quote. Um. Hold on. Let me let me see if I can get it for you, man. Oh, uh, you do that while we uh, take a little uh, break. You do that. We'll take a little break and get away from our sponsor here. Huh? We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the, go. You know the you know the thing. I pledge allegiance to the United States of America, one nation, indivisible, under God, for real. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Come on, man. You know, guys, all right. So that's how. Uh, uh, so I, I don't think we need. I don't think we need to give. Uh, I don't think yeah, we need uh, to uh, give. Uh, uh, it's it's not money. Is not money. Hey, can you screen yeah. share you, Beckel? Yeah, I can screen share you. Yep. Not, what you got? I don't think we need to give reparations because the slaves got paid, right? It's they not got money. Board reparations. And is slaves got paid. Um, you guys are opening up a can of worms. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. take another. Slaves got paid. What did yeah, they get paid? Got paid. They, they got paid. food. They got food. They got a place. That, ain't, that wasn't getting paid. Got, got, you know, that's, you, I wouldn't call that reparations. You, but. you, get free, you, you black, black or you white? Food and you, get, you don't have to pay rent. Are you, you black or you white? Who is that? I, I would, 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 I would agree with you. I, I, I wouldn't call that. Yeah, but, but hold on, hold on a second. A uh, cycle. He's white, but but let's let's get to the uh, thing on the on the screen right now. So get in. Go ahead and do your presentation. Go ahead. Oh no! Nah, just real quick, it's just what Malcolm X said about the liberals when you know when he when he was talking about how they get down and 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 the tactics and the pandering that they deal with, where oh, conservatives are just pretty much like, "Yo, let's get this money, uh, act like act like idiots." Whereas, yeah, let me let me read the quote real quick. It says, "The white liberal is the worst enemy to America and the worst enemy to the black man. The liberal elements of whites are those who have perfected the art of." Selling them, selling themselves to the Negro, as a friend of the Negro, getting sympathy of the Negro, getting the allegiance of the Negro, and getting the mind of the Negro. Then the Negro sides with the white liberal, and then and then the white liberal uses the Negro against the white conservative, so that anything that the Negro does is never for his own good, never for his own advancement, never for his own progress. He's only a pawn in the hands of the white liberal. Oh my gosh, this dude prophesied yeah. uh -huh. exactly what we saw happen earlier this year. But Mal Mal does anybody remember, well, real quick, does anybody remember what uh, after, uh, uh, not long after George Floyd died, the amount of pandering that was yeah. done, performed on the part of the Democrats. Yeah. Remember, they, they had that one press yeah. conference where they were all wearing a kente uh, cloth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they all kneeled down as if they were bound down before Tachanka? Yeah, I, was, I, spoke against, I actually spoke out against that. That was, oh, was good. Good for you. Good for you. That was the egg. That was, I mean, you want to talk about the greatest example of pandering uh, that was the most blatant ever in American history? That was, in, in, to me, by far, took the cake, man. Yeah, yeah, but they always do that. Yeah, but but, but Malcolm, Malcolm was like me. People Malcolm, fell for it. Malcolm was, Malcolm was like me. Malcolm didn't speak good about either party. Malcolm yeah, that's true. Right. Either party. That that's true. That's true. He had to say about the liberals. I saw it on TV and right. I rolled over and went back to sleep. These, these civil <laughs> rights leaders came in the 60s and they actually convinced black people to stop building their communities. Like, if they wanted to put money towards a black hospital for example they would say oh hey, you're just segregating no, no, no. We, we spend they, they use segregation as an excuse not to build up their own communities people didn't use segregation as a reason not to build up their own communities how are you going to tell me that didn't happen when I researched that Johnson wrote the book well, I researched that. Well, I, did, I, I, did, I, did, I did research. Hey, hey, guys, hold on a second. Hey, 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 uh, position is your political position is but psycho is uh sort of outnumbered here so let's just kind of give him a little bit more time to uh respond to any of our objections more respect, I got stuff you. like that so yeah that. yeah now you know that black people was not uh black people mainly 
wanted um, um, be separate, but yeah, it was cool with the separate but equal, but we wasn't being treated equal. That was the that's problem. Not, that's now, not true. Happened, but that's not true. Black, that school, is, that is, that black is schools were actually oh, uh, no, no, no. more well funded than white schools on an attempt to be. No, he wasn't. No, that's oh, actually a lot. You don't know oh, what you're talking about. Oh, there's there's actual, there's there's actual, actual there. That's called patronizing. That's don't lot. patronize me. You know what I'm saying? I can't. Patronizing. I, can, I got it's sources. Really I can back up what I'm saying. This guy's just got an opinion. <laughs> no, no, you don't. You, no, no, I got sources, bro. Uh, Manning Johnson, color Close your legs with that evidence, like please. Tell me, tell me, please cite the sources. Manning Johnson, yeah, color communism. He's trying to tell you, yo. He was a member of the Communist Party and a part yeah. of the Black Civil Rights Movement, and I listened to one of his lectures. And he said, the Communist Movement and Brainwashing God. He's talking all over. Not build up their own communities. And they said they were segregating themselves to try to build up their own communities. So people didn't do nothing. And they called the Black community a ghetto. And if you believe you live in a ghetto, you don't do anything to make it better. And this is all brainwashing. So this black people build up their own communities. The community and just are, are trained to saying, ask white people for stuff. Are you wait wait? Are you saying you black people are in our community a ghetto? Is that, <laughs> is that what you're saying? <laughs> nah, nah. I would uh, like this young man to give us an so example funny. of how yeah, African Americans were treated in white school. God, I Where's your evidence? White philanthropists in the 50s gave more money to young black education than the NAACP. I told you, I got this from Danny Johnson, a black man who wrote Color, Communism, and Common Sense. I'm still waiting for these sources. Are you I told you, Manny Johnson, he wrote the book you Color, Communism, and Common Sense. I got all this information from him. Okay, drop the he was a member of the Communist Party the in the 1950s, and up he and realized they, they don't care about, about black people, people, and they, they were behind the, all like the civil else? rights. Can you why aren't you letting me you know, Can you drop the like everybody else? If you just keep repeating yourself and you don't drop the sources that you're asking, I'm asking you I'm not pulling this out of my butt. Okay, well, show me you not. Show me you not. Prove it. I told Prove you. I told you, but you're talking over me, sir. You're not listening. You're just babbling. You're babbling, sir. Because no, you're I have babbling. I'm asking I'm you for a source. I'm asking Manning for a source. Manning Johnson for the last three minutes. That's my source. Drop Hello? Drop the source. Can you hear? Manning drop Johnson. Color, Communism, and Common Sense was a book he wrote. He was a member of the Communist Party. He realized that it was all a lie. They don't care about black people, and they're using black people to gain no, political no, party no, 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 in no, America. For and they, these school. organizations that were supposed to help black people are actually black people. just you said black 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 people. Funded, white people are doing more to help blacks than the You're telling me some other organizations like Black Lives Matter, they profit off this lie. Of white privilege and racism. I want racism. to see some numbers. I want to see numbers. I don't, I don't, I don't care book. about a, a communist book about. Yeah, no. Well, I don't care about your opinion. I actually did the research. You have a link. Have you ever read a history book? book with these sources? Have with you this even ever read a history with book? With these numbers that claim that African American schools were more better funded than white schools. That's what yeah. Manny Johnson said. That's what Manny Johnson said. That's what Manny Johnson said. He was alive. No, 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 no. I, I'm not interested in the civil rights. You're the black man. Google Manny Johnson, Johnson yeah. you deaf you son of a You guys yeah. don't even know you're a moron. You're a moron. You should be able to provide numbers. You should be able to provide numbers, not somebody's opinion. Do you even read? Do you read books? Most numbers. And I see numbers. You made a exact post the link to the side chat with the information. You made a post the link to the side chat with information. They everybody to do it for them. They don't know how to use Google. No, no. When y'all ask me to provide the source, did I not provide the source? When y'all ask me to provide the source, did I not provide it? I provided he the gave you I'm the name to look up. I'm not asking him to do nothing I didn't do. I'm not asking him to do nothing. Uh, you, didn't, you didn't provide uh there's there's some information you didn't provide yet, but, but go ahead. Yeah, anybody well, y'all ever read that whole book to find you know, out what the hell he's talking about? about? No, he posts the link that says in detail how African American schools were funded better than white American schools before Brown versus Board of Education. Show me the data or shut the mm. fuck up. Now hey, hey take, it easy, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. He's talking about college, that he's right. Now he's talking about high school and, and, and middle school and all that. 
nah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But colleges, you know what I'm saying? You talking about Grambling and, and all that, you know what I'm saying? Beckham. Nah, you know, Hillman, you know, you like, I was one of the Cosby's, I ain't go to Hill, man. You know what I'm saying? I want, I want to ask the panel a question. Ain't no beat. Okay. Show of hands. Show of hands. Who had a parent that went to a segregated school? Me. You know, I, I've never, I never asked my who dad. Had, I need to ask. Who, my, who had a parent that went to a segregated school? Oh, oh. Mine. I, 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 who I, had a parent that went sure. to a segregated school? I do. So, P. Morris, I'm going to tell know. you. My parents went to a segregated school in the mm -hmm. state of Virginia, in mm -hmm. the Appalachia region of Virginia. Mm -hmm. Okay, before there were four lane roads, mm -hmm. one school for the county, for the whole county. My mother had to go 45 miles a day back and forth to go to school. She mm -hmm. didn't have the books. The books that she received <laughs> were from the white schools that they discarded. Right. My father, he was luckier because he went to a city school. So he didn't, he walked right down the hill. But his were four years, his books were four years old. Mm -hmm. So don't give me that bull crap about yeah, black schools being book. funded just as well or even it better than white schools. It's not bull crap, sir. I got it. It's from bull Manny Johnson. It is bull crap. I'm giving, you first, I'm giving you first. I'm giving you first. It's not bull crap, sir. I, I mean, I appreciate your cherry pick anecdote. No, wonderful it's not cherry pick. No, Amazing. I'm first hand knowledge. But yo. The, the, yeah, the stuff you first -hand in the book not our, it's yeah. not our, our shit. Like when we when you talking about um what black people do or did back then, it had nothing to do with what was in that book. You know what I'm saying? It was more like yo, we learned skills, we learned trades. You know what I'm saying? We were barbers, mechanics. You know what I'm saying? That, like and if, and if you look at what all the if you look at the the so called historical black colleges and universities, they want institutions for like say philosophy they want institution of liberal arts they right. were trade and mechanical schools uh -huh. trade and mechanical school uh -huh. that's what they were set up for read booker t washington's book if you want to read a book on what went on with black colleges and universities because that's what they wanted for us trades and and agricultural and mechanical skills like, it wasn't liberal arts. It wasn't engineering yeah. stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. And fine. I'm from Virginia. And we, and we, were, and we was blowing Washington them out the water. Washington had slaves. And we was blowing them out the water. Indentured servants and slaves are they two different things. They were not indentured servants. Shut your mouth, Bob, because they slaves. were released. And what, excuse me. Slaves, excuse me. Uh, one at a time, guys. One at a time. Slaves. One at a time. One at a time. Excuse me. Shut the fuck up. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Slow down. Slow down. Excuse me. One at a time. One at a time. One at a time. Hold on. Excuse me. But when Washington died, when Washington died, his supposed slaves were all set. Free, hold on, 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 slow down, slow down. Okay. Uh, because, because Vaughn, 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 Vaughn. Hold on, hold on. Trailer and shut up. Hold on, hold on. Which Vaughn, what you say, Vaughn? Vaughn. Hold on. I'm at. I'm at to mute everybody. If you, if you guys don't calm down, Vaughn. Now, first of all, what you're saying is extremely controversial. Okay, that they were uh, and it's, it's and we don't have, and unfortunately don't have enough time to cover <laughs> uh, everything uh, within a short amount of time. That because uh, I would love to hear both of you guys' arguments on that because um, that's the nature of, of these hands. But so I, I and, and P. Mars, I kind of he's a hater. I don't know why he's even in here. He's a hater. Uh, okay, let, you know, well, all that aside, though, you know, uh, I'm just saying that because I just want to let you guys know ahead of time that because I'm going to be ending the stream in about maybe ten minutes. And uh, a lot of you are bringing some very, very interesting things to talk about. But uh, I don't know. I mean, just just kind of you know, just keep that in mind that we don't have enough time to cover all of the things that you're talking about. Uh, right. with, with, uh, we don't need a lot of time life. to cover the fact if I can, that if I can mention own slaves, no matter what this dog's face says. If I can I mention, uh, what, you said, what, you said, what the fuck are you doing in here? Get you're your right, attorney. Excuse me. Um, I don't think I can't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought you could have out. rules against that shit. 
you guys are, are, are Nicole, unable. He's a real domestic terrorist, for real. He gets okay. Yeah, I'm a real. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna start the. Uh, I don't. I don't like. To, I don't like to. Uh, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the honor network. Okay, yeah, hold yeah, on. That's right. Right. Jordan, 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 go ahead and say what you got to say. Ron, Ron, and Blue, y'all got to chill, man. Y'all got to chill out. Go ahead, Jordan. What you want to say? All right. So I get, I understand that this is about to is that this is this hangout is about to end. I yeah. am interested in creating a new room. So if anybody else is interested in uh, joining it, I think I put a link in this uh, private chat. In the private chat. Okay. Yeah. You want to put so it out to the public? If you're interested, um, after this is over, you can hop in there, and maybe hey. we can kind of continue um, the hey, conversation. Hey, Jody, can I put start it having other conversations? Hey, Joda, can I, would you mind if I put it out to the public or no? Yeah, absolutely. I, okay, absolutely. I'll put it in the public chat as well. So, and ben, right. well, I need to apologize to you. I'm sorry for coming in and being a little hot with Vaughn. I, I truly apologize for that. You know, I'm not coming here. It's okay. I, I'm usually very calm, very collected. No, I know and, you are. I know. You know, and, and, I, and I'm sorry about that because I do. No, no, that's that okay. Much, and, I, and I appreciate it. Uh, and I appreciate you letting me on here. So I'm, like I said, I apologize to you. But no, it, it's okay. I, I just asked for one thing. Dude. I just I just asked for one. It's okay. I I just want I just asked for one thing that y'all represent the Proud Boys accurately. Not, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, yeah, man, I, I wish I, I should have started this stream a lot sooner, but I couldn't because you know, family man. Stupid to know the difference between an indentured servant and a slave. That's a that's a real serious issue. That's not a slave. That's not a hold on, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Let's give Castell in a public school. Okay, hold on. Let, let, Vaughn, uh, Vaughn, Vaughn. Okay, Vaughn. Vaughn, Vaughn. Vaughn, 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 Vaughn. Hold on. Let's get Castro a time to respond. Just wait, boy. Curse if, you, if, if you look it up. Vaughn, 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 I'm Vaughn, I'm Vaughn. I hate to do this, but I'm muting you, man. I gotta mute you because I want to. I want to give Castillo time a chance to respond. Go ahead, Castillo. If you type it in Google, did Washington own slaves? It comes up and it tells you how many slaves Washington actually owned. Hold on, hold on. Let Castillo finish. Let Castillo finish. It tells you how many slaves Washington owned, which was 123, and it was 150 some plus. Shut up, terrorist. So that's that. So it comes up that Washington owns slaves. Well, yeah. and of course, and that's, and that's, because they hate the founding fathers. Duh. Get it. service were like the Irish in this country. Uh, they were indigenous service. That's why I, uh, it, that's why I get triggered when I hear people say the Irish were slaves too. No, they wasn't uh, slaves. They was indigenous uh, service. Uh, it was like the Hebrews in the Bible. Like the Hebrews in the Bible, uh, uh, slaves. They was actually indigenous servants. I, I, I don't know if every black person was in not an indigenous given a free public well, You had indigenous service out like in Jamestown, Virginia, before um actually before slavery and everything else that was like indigenous service and everything. But we for the most part, you are talking about the slavery that everybody else is talking about, the chattel slavery, like out in like you know Charleston and and you know um every uh, Georgia and everywhere else, like out in the deep deep south. Yeah, that those, those are slaves, actual slaves, not indigenous service. They was they were slaves for life. They didn't get. Well, that's my you point. Exactly. Slaves, slaves, slaves are not or, uh, slaves are not put in. I don't let Vaughn let Vaughn respond to that. Go ahead, Vaughn. Sla slaves, wow. slaves. Oh, for fuck's sake! Slaves are not put in public school and given a free education. Okay, they're not. That's not a slave. Damn it! I don't give a damn what some liberal website says. When Washington's no, no, I've got to get this out. Yeah, let live on finish. When Washington's people were set free at his death, they were given a free education and they were given jobs. That's not slavery. It's a lie. It's a fucking lie. It's not. It's a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. You spit it. Let 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 blue 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 wanted to respond to that. Go ahead, blue. Go ahead. Blue, you want to say something? Slaves were just that slaves. Not all of 
Washington slaves were freed by his wife when he died. And even if they were, that doesn't make them, they, they were not slaves all the way beforehand. I, I, um, Why don't you go to Mount Vernon and s show them that the slave cabins are really indentured servant cabins, Vaughn? Yeah. Why don't you go to Monticello, Vaughn, and show them that the slave cabins there were really indentured well, servants? I think, I think what would do uh, that, I think what would do the listeners a great service is if uh, if we can see some sort of documentation from either side that would uh, seemingly validate you, your position. Yeah. Um, because we're hearing a lot of... I want to say yeah. that the yeah. we're given a free education and, and jobs. And the mountain, yeah. Yeah. When you have, you have a slave, you can't just have a slave that doesn't know what the hell they're doing. You have to train the slave. That's why they educate they were given an education after they were they were given an education after they were after 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 they borrowed uh, some form of education from the slave masters and then uh, improved on it from that point on or in the military learn how to use weapons so you need education on that. Right. And I understand you're a farmer. Point, but the point is, you're still slaves, in the slaves industry. are never set mm -hmm. free. It's like no, slaves, no, are, no, you know, you slaves, slaves are never set no, free. Look up the word manumission. Manumission. Slaves are never set free. They're passed on to their relatives. Look up the word manumission if you think slaves are never set free. They're passed on to their relatives or their own people. But they're never set free. That's not a slave. What is manumission? You're, you're obviously not a slave at that point, right? <laughs> what is they manumission? They were talking about indentured servants who came across here on boats. They couldn't afford to slave free. And so they had to pay for that trip to get over here. And they did. All right, guys. All right, guys. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. I'm going to be wrapping. I'm going to wrap this up. I do sincerely apologize. I would love for this conversation to go on for another three hours. It's my fault, but, you know, I'm a family man. You know, I had to do some stuff before I opened up the room. So... Uh, I want to give every, each one of you uh, a chance to say something before you uh, before I, I kick you out the room. <laughs> so, uh, so um, who wants yeah. to start? I'll, I'll go first, real quick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah go ahead. This is responding to what Bond said. If you if, if if slaves are set free, that does not mean the, the free slaves were, were were never slaves. They were slaves, but they were set free. They were free slaves. That's why they had the whole term free slave. Amen. So, you know, that they, they were they were a slave just because they was free. <laughs> that don't mean they wasn't oh, slave. Yeah, was I, I appreciate the conversation, Beck, as always. I know it got a little passionate, but no no harm, no foul. Shout out to everybody up on here. I'll I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good night. Yeah, please come back next time, man. Please come back. No doubt. All right.